Hello there, we're going to be going back in time today and taking a look at the 2005 Master Replicas Anakin Skywalker Force Effects lightsaber from Revenge of the Sith. Um, this was actually my next lightsaber purchase after pre-ordering and getting the 2002 Master Replicas Force Effects lightsaber for Anakin from Attack of the Clones. I purchased this one actually late in 2005 in the, uh, I want to say late summer, early fall. Um, I actually found it in a Best Buy, that, and it was on clearance at the time. The original retail on these was $149.99. I think I got this for $89. It's been a little while, so it's kind of hard to say for certain. Um, but this is actually a really great lightsaber. It has, of course, like my other Master Replicas lightsaber, has spent the majority of its life in the original box that it came in, mainly for its protection. Um, you got to keep in mind, when I got this, uh, two of my three children were still, still very small, and the third one wasn't even around yet. So, you know, protection was very important for my collectibles because they really liked to try to get a hold of these. So we're going to go ahead and open it up. Now, I did go ahead and take it out of the plastic bag that it came in that we, I have kept it in as well and put the batteries in it. One thing that I really love about this hilt is that this is actually really well detailed. Um, now, this is actually fine work from Master Replicas, and unlike the 2002 Force Effects lightsabers, they got the scaling down much better. Um, I also didn't actually mention it in the video about the Attack of the Clone Saber, but they got the battery packs right, too. Originally, the Force Effects lightsabers from 2002 took six AA batteries, and the battery pack was permanently affixed on the hilt, which I think may have attributed to some of the electronic or electrical problems that they had. They actually got these down to a three AA battery battery pack, and another great improvement over the earlier versions is that these actually feature a string blade instead of the electroluminescent hilt. Um, as you saw in my video about the Attack of the Clones Anakin Skywalker Saber, the EL hilt just turns on. There's no scrolling effect. It's actually very similar to an in hilt LED lightsaber. Whereas this lightsaber actually has the string blade in it. And gets a really good scrolling effect. The sound on it does still work. Now, these were still not very advanced sound cards. There's not a lot of different swings. You do have the clash. And of course, these aren't recommended for dueling. Um, I, you know, instinctively, not even having read it on the box that, you know, it wasn't recommended for dueling, just did not duel with these. Um, because I felt like they were so delicate. And it actually looks like even without that, over the course of time, I do have one LED that may actually be looking a little bit dim at this point. But this is a 15-year-old lightsaber, so, you know, it has held up really good for the test over the test of time. One thing that I do kind of dislike about it is that the on-off switch is actually a slide switch here on the control box. So if you're actually swinging it around and spin it and holding it in the upper part of the hilt right here, it's really easy to bump that and turn it off. But this is more of a display saber rather than anything that you would actually use for swinging around or dueling with. Now this was actually the saber that I used and compared to when I was placing, making my decision to place an order for my next lightsaber, which wouldn't be until 13 years later. And this is what I was kind of trying to get when I got the Ultra Sabers Graflex CE. Later on, some other time, we'll actually do a comparison between these two. I'm kind of hoping that maybe I can actually get a Slim Flex or a different version of this lightsaber um, that I can add to the comparison as well. Shh. 
Definitely an improvement over the earlier versions of the Force Effects lightsaber. I enjoyed this one quite a bit. I'm very happy with it. And, you know, of course, this one, unlike, you know, anything that you would get from Ultra Sabers or Saber Forge or Corbanth, is actually licensed by Lucasfilm. And it's always good to have a couple of those in your collection. Well, go ahead and leave a comment if you'd like. And if you enjoyed the video, please hit like. If you haven't already, subscribe. I've got more videos on the way. Thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.